Sorry, Ben. All right, <laughs> there's Benji. This is another Benji video. Usually we're out uh, exploring cemeteries or doing something. Uh, on his back, that's where he had 11 staples. Uh, 18 days ago, this little guy was paralyzed. He came out front of the bed, dragging his hind legs behind him. He went into Luma Space and Veterinary Clinic uh, Tuesday, uh, 18 days ago, and he had surgery uh, to remove something that was putting pressure on his spinal cord that had paralyzed him. Since then, he's been recovering. And if I let go of this, on the grass, he likes to rotate around. So this is for everybody that we've been talking about, Benji. A little update on what he's doing and what he's up to. He likes it on the grass because he can get traction. Except I gotta make sure he doesn't go too fast and too far. Benji, come back this way, buddy. Ben, come on, bud. Benji, Benji. Okay, 18 days ago, he couldn't walk. He's been taking, uh, there's been medicine we've been giving him and uh, took him to work a couple times, keeping calm. He's been in a baby stroller crib or whatever, a playpen. He rides around in a jogging stroller. Benji, slow, Benji. Easy, bud, easy, bud. And when I get him on the grass, he got he has really good traction on uh, the floor at home. He doesn't seem to do too good. His legs go apart. Benji, Benji, slow. Easy, bud, easy, bud. So anyhow, this is a little something to show what can be done when you take a dog to a really good veterinary clinic? That was Loomis Basin Veterinary Clinic in Loomis, California. Top notch, been going there for 35 years. It was an expensive surgery, but this little guy was worth every penny of it. And you just see him be like this now. It's it's really it's really cool. Oh, well, maybe he's gonna roll on his back and scratch. He did this before. There he goes. Get down, Benji. Rub that back. But yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. For some reason he'll he'll dig in the grass. Ben, 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 over here. He'll dig in the grass like he's something there. And then he just rolls. Gonna do it again, buddy? Let's get that camera out of my face. Let's go to PetSmart and get some treats. Alright, you're gonna walk part way back to the Jeep. Now I'm gonna carry you. But uh, those legs are doing really, really good. Uh, he couldn't do this uh, five days ago. He couldn't. He couldn't do this. We could stand him up with a little help, but every morning when he gets up, he's done a little bit better, huh, Ben? And if I keep my shadow out of you, good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, Tiger. All right, there we go. And there's another Benji report. Benji, come here, bud. Good boy. Say good night. Bye, bye. Okay, Benji said he's not done walking. We're going to go slow. Heading back to the Jeep. Um, something else we didn't mention was when we first brought him home from the vet, we had to hold him up so he could go pee. He couldn't do it because all he could do is just lay down. So now he'll uh, he'll find a place and he'll squat instead of lifting his leg yet. He'll get back to lifting the leg. Another thing we did was we did a little therapeutic stuff with him where uh, I'd hold him and exercise his leg around he couldn't feel it and what started happening first was we noticed that his tail was wagging that was totally dead before so once he got his tail wagging about five days ago his legs followed shortly after that and uh, he's doing much better but a little therapy picking him up moving him around he needs a haircut he already had one trim and he had his nails done at the vet but uh, we need to get him in and get some of that fur off of his face and make him about five pounds lighter he weighs uh, 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Okay, bud. Now we get done. Let's go walking back to the Jeep. But I'm going to pick you up shortly. You're not going to walk all that way, I don't think. Okay, say bye.